Huffing has a reputation among many teens as a quick, cheap, safe high. Inhaling the fumes of common household chemicals is anything but safe. It can cause permanent brain damage, even death. Videos posted on YouTube and the Internet show inhalant abuse. Teens and 20-somethings call it doing whippets, huffing, or chasing the rat. Law enforcement and Oklahoma's Poison Control Center call inhaling fumes from CO2 capsules, Freon, gasoline, or products like spray paint, air freshener, and canned air dangerous and even deadly. Mark Woodward is spokesman for the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. We saw here in Oklahoma right around Christmas time uh, when a young man here in the metro area, a teenager, uh, was found dead next to his neighbor's air conditioning unit, and they believe he was huffing Freon from one of the pipes coming out of the neighbor's air conditioner. Freon is very similar to the keyboard board dusters in that it just displaces oxygen from the lungs and it makes people dizzy, but it also has the additional problem of really making heart very sensitive and it can start to uh, beat inefficiently and actually a person can just drop over dead from inhaling Freon in, in the duster products. There have been several cases where young men, young women have been killed by inhalants and in fact some of the ingredients in it can have a quicker effect and, and can cause a quicker death than say using another drug or overdosing. At least three Oklahoma teenagers' deaths have been attributed to using inhalants in the past two years. One in Tulsa, one in Edmond, and that 13-year-old Midwest City boy who apparently died after huffing Freon. This surveillance video posted to YouTube shows teens stealing, then huffing Freon. It's hard to quantify how widespread inhalant use is in Oklahoma because emergency rooms and 911 calls don't always list huffing as the cause of a victim's intoxication. I would say it's one of the most underreported and, and underdetected poisons that are out there. And it's a problem Oklahoma's Poison Control Center doesn't get a lot of calls about. We'll have uh, clusters or outbreaks where teenagers will inhale stuff at a party or um, in a park or something like that. And we'll receive several calls where several teenagers have been overcome by these fumes. Last year, the Poison Control Center received 56 calls about inhalants. There were 53 calls in 2011, 77 in 2010, 46 in 2009, and 67 in 2008. Do you feel any wah wah wah? <laughs> While it's hard to know how many people huff, Tulsa Public Schools campus police officer Charles Gadd says law enforcement does know who is likely to do it and why. <laughs> Internet videos can make huffing seem like a safe, fun way to get high. We have problems in Oklahoma with kids learning from other kids or the Internet about household products that can produce what they call a high. The Internet is so pervasive in teenagers' lives that they go to it, share a link quickly, and it can, it can spread through a circle of friends in no time at all. And they see it, they want to try it. The high users get by huffing is actually varying degrees of dizziness caused by the inhalant depriving the brain of oxygen, which in turn kills brain cells. The damage that occurs from, from inhaling uh, these fumes and vapors is not reversible. The brain does not regenerate itself. And so once a brain cell is gone, it's gone forever. If you see your, your son or daughter and they appear to be intoxicated and you know that they have no access to liquor or prescription pills, there is a chance that it could be an inhalant. Especially if it's after a time they've been idle, like say it's after they got home from school but the parents aren't home from work yet, um, or at some evening a Friday, Saturday night when they've been out with their friends. Symptoms of inhalant use include slurred speech, lethargy to the point of incoherency, trouble remembering, and extreme difficulty focusing on a person or task. Make sure the mouth and airways clear with a little something to eat and drink. If you suspect someone is huffing, the Oklahoma Poison Control Center wants you to call. It has pharmacists and nurses on staff to help sort out symptoms and provide guidance to find treatment options. So something that may start out with idle curiosity doesn't turn deadly.